Hello YouTube people, I just wanna get one thing out of my mind. People say that G-Shock is the most durable watch and people say that if you work something like car mechanic for example, the best watch for you is a G-Shock. And I don't argue about that, I kinda agree, it's, it's definitely a very very strong watch. I did durability testing on a G-Shock myself and you can check the compilation video link in the description it's incredible what kind of torture tests g-shock can go through and still work perfectly fine but uh, as the name suggests g-shock uh, that durability is very much focused on one thing specifically it's shock resistance you can throw your watch around kick it around and it just wouldn't care but in the real world scenario we ju very very just wear the watch, actually wear the watch and just casually bump into things. Do you really need that strong of a shock resistance or maybe you need scratch resistance? So I'll give you a real world example. I sell bicycles and I buy bicycles, I build them and I sell them. <laughs> and it's like, you know, very similar thing to being bike mechanic i'm always scratched up always bruised up and what whatever is on my wrist gets the beating as well and the peak of my season lasts three months so one season i bought new g-shock 5600 bb and i worn that watch throughout the peak of the season at the end of the peak of the season that g-shock was all shiny and was looking a little bit like dog was chewing on that watch so uh, another season I bought this watch with sapphire crystal and ceramic bezel. Also, I have worn it throughout the peak of the season, three months on the single watch. And what can I tell you? Looking down on this watch, I see not a single scratch or dent on sapphire crystal or ceramic bezel. This ceramic bezel covers the full, full face of the watch and it protects it rather well. And looking down on the watch it looks like new it looks looks like fresh out of the box of course uh, the case itself has many scratches but it's stainless steel case if i really want i could fix it but looking down on the watch all i see is just ceramic bezel and sapphire crystal it looks like new looking top down on the watch and where i'm going with this what's the conclusion i mean there is no there are no conclusions I, i'm not making any point i'm just giving you a real world example like how a g-shock for me looks after the peak of the season sorry can't show you anymore because that's that was the g-shock that i did durability testing with it after the season so i no longer can show you but this g-shock took quite a bit of beating as well so uh the screen is scratched up all rubber looks a little bit, you know, a little bit shiny and, un and worn out. While this watch is just, it looks fresh. It looks fresh. So if you work something like this, uh, manual labor, ask yourself, do you really need shock proof or do you need scratch proof? It's different kind of durabilities. So no conclusions. I'm not making any point. Just giving you real world examples. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.